Hey there YouTubers and welcome back to Queen City Diecast. I've got another five pack for you that I want to show off today. The last one that we featured was the Car Meat five pack featuring the 55 Bel Air Gasser. And today we have the Hot Wheels Exotics. So without further ado, let's jump on in and take a look at each of the five models. I've seen this Hot Wheels five pack bouncing around quite a bit and I've always looked at it and never really decided to purchase it until recently. Um, because I noticed that three of the five models in there were particular castings that I like to collect, um, and I don't think that was the case up until very recently. So, without further ado, let's jump into the individual models. Here we have the Renault Sport RS, as I drop it. Um, it's nice, uh, it's got this metallic orange color, the blue insert there, which kind of matches up with the interior. Now I have this in several other castings as well, in a black, a red, and a blue variety. And so this will be the fourth uh, variety or color for this casting that I have. And uh, it looks pretty much the same as all the other ones, just with a different coloring. So that's the Renault Sport RS. Set that guy right there. The next car that we have in the Exotics 5 pack, or Hot Wheels Exotics 5 pack, is going to be our Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And this is not one of the castings that I collect, although it is very neat. Um, I do not have any other Sesto Elementos. I have a few other Lamborghinis, certainly, uh, but not, not this particular casting. Uh, pretty cool with this sort of matte gold finish. Uh, you got nice headlight tampos on there the Lamborghini uh, uh, badge up front as well. Let's see if we got any rear tampos. Not so much on the rear. Plastic base, as we've come to expect. Uh, cool looking car though. If you're into exotics, this is definitely one that you would uh, want to have in your collection. So there's the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in gold with the red and black tampos. Set that there. All right, moving on to the third car, if I can get it out of the pack, there we go. This would be the Aston Martin DBS, I am seeing here. And again, not a particular casting that I collect, although it is pretty neat looking. I like the red interior, matches up nicely with the red wheels. But you've got this sort of dark midnight blue, uh, which almost kind of looks black in certain light. Um, paint with the green and white tampos. We got full headlight tampos as well, as well as the Aston Martin badge on the hood. And no tampos on the back, but uh, a neat casting nonetheless for you Aston Martin fans out there. All right, moving on to our fourth casting. This one here. There we go. Jaguar or Jaguar, if you are uh, more uh, proper, perhaps. That would be the Jaguar XJ220 in this green and silver uh, motif here. You'll notice no headlight tampos on this one like we saw on the first, uh, well I think they back, I was gonna say the first three, but two of the first three. Uh, no tampos on the rear either, but you do of course get the classic Jaguar or Jaguar uh, side tampos. Pretty cool car though. I don't have any other uh, Jaguar XJ220s, but if I did find other ones, I think I would pick them up. It's a really neat profile. PR5 wheels look very nice on it as well. Cool looking casting all around for the exotic collectors. Okay, and the last one that I found in the five pack here, and actually the reason I purchased this pack primarily uh, is for this casting, which I do collect, and of course, you will notice it right out of the gate, and that, of course, is our McLaren F1 GTR. So love this casting. I have quite a few other ones, not just from Hot Wheels, but other, um, other uh, manufacturers as well. Always had a really neat profile, in my opinion. Hot Wheels does it great with this profile as well. Um, got the full headlight tampos, some McLaren stamping on there, the front, of course. You get the Hot Wheels. See if we can focus in on that Hot Wheels logo just above the headlight. There we go. Um, and then some F1 and racing stripes, of course, of course. Um, 
Really neat casting. Excited to put that down on the shelf with my other castings, my other F1 GTRs. Uh, if you guys really like exotics, this is the pack for you. Five great looking cars. Um, each one a little bit different, but all of them still very cool, great profiles. Let me know what you think of this Hot Wheels Exotics 5-pack and what other 5-packs maybe you've come across that you've purchased and your thoughts. If you did buy this 5-pack, tell me what you think about it as far as the cars that you pulled out and when you looked at them. Uh, if you haven't purchased it, also let me know why not, what's pulling you away from it. As always, I appreciate you tuning into these videos. Please make sure to subscribe and like the channel, and I will see you on the next video. Take it easy.